morning guys welcome to tuesday we're starting out super early we're at the sales barn sophie and i are addicted it's so addicted but before we get started in today's video i just wanted to say something i see a lot of comments lately that say that we have too many animals and that we keep on buying animals my question to you is we have a farm you guys we live on a farm if you live on a farm you have farm animals so i don't understand and not only do we have farm animals we don't have like a ton of them we have a few horses four dogs and some chickens. We have horses, chickens, and dogs, that's it. We could have like goats and sheeps and cow and cows and like so many other things. Oh yeah, we have a cat, but we don't have them. Anyways, but we're at the sales barn. <laughs> buy something else who knows but anyways when you live on a farm it's about oh collecting God. animals so let's go collect some animals weird story gabby wants a ragdoll cat that's the only kind of cat it's she cool. wants oh and your dad says there's a ragdoll cat here but there's not so cute oh they're so little how old are they oh they're eight nine weeks now. nine weeks they're so cute what what kind are they just here's mom <laughs> oh, you're getting rid of mom too? They're, they're just barn kitties. Barn kitties. Oh, that's and awesome. Mom, and then there's another sister in there, a big one. Oh, awesome. And some cute little bunnies. Did we have bunnies like this before? I think we had. Are they? Lion well, heads. I was going to ask yeah. if they were lion heads. Yeah. So cute. Wow, and your prices are so good. So those are bunnies, and then you have guinea pigs in there too. Yeah. Oh, I love that one in the back. It's so cute. I love your setup too. It's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Giving away free candy even though you we didn't buy anything. Thank you so much. It is Easter. Thank you. <laughs> Jelly beans. That's what we needed. So the chicken guy is here. It's a duck day. Oh my goodness. What are you? I love you. Look how big that duck is. That's a huge duck. Oh my goodness. Puppies. Lavender Orpingtons. We don't have we don't have that. I love lavender yeah, Orpingtons. Yeah. So this is the kind that we what are they called again? Uh Chanticleers. Sorry? Chanticleers. Chanticleers, yeah. They're interesting. <laughs> All right, we were looking for silkies again today. Silkies are Oh he hasn't bought me my silkies yet. Gotta bring him some silkies. Bass poles and palmarines. Bass poles? Look at that. It's a pasta pole. And they're feather look at their curly they're feathers. Pretty, yeah. yeah, they're like um silkies. They're like what are those silkies? Frizzle, Frizzle chickens, yeah. yeah. Well, little hamster? Bought a hamster the oh so oh I see. So he got a little hamster. Yeah. Alright, Sam bought his meat. Here, I got you a chicken, I mean an Easter egg. It's got a treat in it. This is the meat that Sam buys here. Anyway, this place is filling up with vendors outside. They have lots of animals here today. Nothing that we want. And there were no ragdoll kittens. There's a big furry one in there, did you see? A, a lion head bunny. The black cat in there, that's furry. They're, I asked her what breed they are and she said they're just regular tabby cats. They're barn cats. All right, we're early today and there's nothing here, but we're gonna go look anyway. Well, there's literally like one cow and some sheeps. That's it. Sophie, no, let's go back this way. Cause there's a, Sophie made me come down here cause she saw baby cows. Yep, these are the baby cows. Little bit of black and white spots and she thinks they're cows. But I see the one in the back there really does look like a cow. Dude, don't try and escape. It will do you no good. Is that your girlfriend? <laughs> look at how, how cute you are. You're really cute. I always like wish that I could give them peace for my, <gasps> don't, don't get choked. Get down before you get hurt. I think he's a boy cause I see some junk. I think he's, oh look at you. You're really cute too. We're cows, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Oh wow, they have goats too. All sheep and goats. Goats. All sheep and goats. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're really cute. Everybody's fighting today. All of them. So he's like, get me out of here. 
<laughs> Look at that one, has the cutest face. Uh, it's the uh, weakest. No, he's just calm. He just doesn't want to fight, that's all. That one wants attention. And you then... are adorable. Adorable. But this one is really cute too. Try and pet it. Look, it looks pregnant. Or actually maybe in heat. <laughs> They're all in heat. I think the spring fever has hit the sales bar. You guys know how some people go to the mall and they just look around and see if there's anything exciting that they want to buy? Yeah, that's us at the sales bar. Like, we much prefer looking at animals and finding out new information about them, seeing new breeds that we've never seen before, than we prefer walking around the mall. That's how you know we're country girls. That's how you know that we're farm girls. Like I said before, people are always saying to me, like, you buy too many things. And to be honest, I'm always so super cautious of what I buy because for so many reasons, but I am not a hoarder. In my heart, I have never been a hoarder. My whole entire life, I've always been a purger. I'm a, I'm a purge girl. And that's caused issues in the past for me, but we're definitely not hoarders. We have a farm. We have a limited number of space for animals and that in a limited amount of time and energy that we can put into animals. The only reason we don't have goats, pygmy goats right now is because uh, Sam hasn't built the space that I need for them, but also because I'm not committed right now to take care of them during the winter. I hate the winter and I don't want to overburden myself through the winter so we don't have them. I'm super careful about that. It is dark and dreary outside, you guys. I'm going down because we still have to finish cleaning the paddock, but you guys don't wanna see that every day, so. Before we do that, we're actually going to use this to make horse treats. We're gonna try. So we have horse treats that have already been made, but are just like the powder residue that's left in the bag. And then we have applesauce, and we're gonna try and use this, add some liquid to it, and see if we can rebake them. So we're gonna use three cups of this powder that's already the treats. That's a half a cup. So if this works, we're gonna keep, There's a cup. remember to make a cup, so if you have to level it, that was more than a cup. So that's one and a half cups. We're just using stuff that we have around the house and we have, this is the only applesauce that we have, unfortunately. And it's literally like a half a cup. Put it in there. Oh wait, that's a treat, okay. So we're gonna mix that up and if it's not oily enough, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there. So the recipe that I am following also calls for flour and it also calls for molasses. Oh, these turned out good. They fall in your part. They have no, hay in them. They have hay in them, that's okay. Yeah, they don't, they, I think I just need to let them sit a little bit longer and cool. I ended up having to put a lot of molasses in these just to make them stick. So definitely not worth it. It's cheaper to just go buy another nice bag of treats. But I definitely think the horses will love these, but I definitely think that they're not sugar free, so they're not gonna be able to eat a lot of them. Also an update on our homemade chicken brooder. I love it. We finished it, Sam finished it last night, or soon after I stopped videoing it yesterday. And he put a light over there. We've got a light here, this one's stronger. That one's a little bit less warm because they're bigger. I absolutely love it. The chickens absolutely love it. I love the roost. In fact, I really want him to put a roost in this side too. So the reason I like this so much, and, the, and I've said this before, I love using old things to make stuff and I love using stuff that we've had around our house. Like long ago, Sam collected these doors. We have a couple of them. So I love that he was able to use it and it's like almost the perfect fit for this little um, brooder that Sam made. I love that he had all these, everything that he we have here were things that we have had before. We bought this box or he got this box last year at the end of last season. But I love it. I love that it's huge, that he was able to split it in two so that we can have two sets of chickens. <laughs> All the little roosters chasing the other hens off. But I'm obsessed with it. I'm so grateful for it. It might not look the prettiest. It might not be the best. It might not be like a fancy chicken brooder. But I love it because it's something that we made with all the things that we had already. 
And to me, that means more. The girls made brownies. I made brownies. She just brownies. And that's what I made. <laughs> it looks like brownies. Looks like brownies too. Make sure you don't eat the wrong thing. One is horse treats, one is brownies. And one looks so much better. Okay, so we are gonna do a test. I have the treats we made. I have hiccups now. Sophie has hiccups. So this is what they look like. So Why we're gonna do a so test many? and see, cause I wanna Why give them to my two? horse too. We're, we're gonna see if the horses prefer these or regular treats. Which obviously they're gonna prefer the ones we Honey made. Doesn't like these. Yeah, she's Honey's a picky. picky. Come on, Alice. She's Come on, you stay in here. Wait, let me close this door. So happy. I know. I'm trying to manage like all the treats, the camera, the door, and Ellie. Ellie's so excited. She's like, <laughs> I'm addicted to bringing her down to the farm. Like I love bringing her down. Ellie's gonna have to stay in here though. You stay there just for a few minutes. I'll let you out. I'll. I'll let you out in a minute. Watch, she could probably climb this whole door. Here, take treats out of my pocket. I have treats. No, I, we're, we're gonna see which one they prefer. Okay. Put one in each hand, which do they prefer? Okay, So, ready? just wait, let's show them the treat we made and the treat that we bought. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the treat we bought. We made. We made, the treat we made, for sure. Come here. All right, so now we're gonna do honey. The one we made. The one we made. All right, Gracie's turn. <laughs> they know where it's at. We make good treats. I'm addicted to bringing her down here, but <laughs> she's a devil. You're a devil. Bringing Ellie down to the barn is a lot more trouble <laughs> than you would expect because <laughs> but she's so cute and I want her to learn. I want her to learn like all the rules and the only way you can learn, teach them the rules is to be teaching them the rules all the time. She's excited. Yeah, she's like, oh, I want to come with you. Very green. <laughs> oh my God, Polly hates the puppy still. She has mud all over. <laughs> yep, she's a muddy girl. Ellie, no. come here. All right, we're gonna see which treat Chino chooses. The one we made. He chooses both. Oh, wow, boy! He chooses the other one. He chose both. I don't oh my god. Let's see. Oh my god, your dog's eating them! <laughs> oh, she ate the homemade treat. She has it! She ate the homemade treat. That is a horse treat. Ellie! Ellie! Come here! Just wait. Let me grab her. Come here. <laughs> she was like, woohoo! <laughs> He's so excited. Ellie wants to run with them. Oh man, her heart is beating. My heart is beating. She's like, I need to get free. Ellie! <laughs> Penny. Penny is really picky. <laughs> Gino! It's spring. Everybody is. That way. <laughs> and here comes Penny. He is spicy and beautiful. Penny's having a turn. Which one did she pick? Um, not the homemade one. Not the homemade one. Clearly, the big horses are broken. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm literally. Does Chino know any tricks? Does Chino know any tricks? Oh, no. These ones better. No. All right, Penny has tricks. Look at Penny. No tricks. Penny has a rolled in the mud. Okay. I think can run after you. All right, let's see it again. Yeah, he runs away from her and does it like he's very mindful about that, but he is full of spring energy.
Do the other one too. <laughs> this blank is a little short. So yeah, those are the only things he knows. But he doesn't really know them. He only does them for treats. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> Literally, I'm terrified of having this puppy down here. <laughs> He's like, <"Whoa!" laughs> She's wild. Trying to get free. Border collies, but they never ever talk about Yorkies. They're getting attacked. I like about you, I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. Oh my god, she just jumped over my leg. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, I feel so bad for the dogs. I feel bad for the dogs. I feel bad for the horses. Ah. <laughs> I feel bad for everyone but me. What about me? I got poked in the belly of crap. Gabby got licked. <laughs> I got poked in the belly of crap. She is so annoying. Oh my god. If only you knew I would die for you. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 